let's do a quick update as you can see the water level has dropped dramatically here it's about it's down by about it's more than one and a half meters drop from the peak even though it's been only a couple of days and uh, the drop higher up is going even faster than that uh, i mean at uppington only a few days after the peak uppington is less than half of the peak flow but let's look at the numbers as you can see we really had to push out the pumps already looking at the Waal river the flow on the rivers above the dam seems normal the dam is at 102% with an outflow of 122 and the prediction is stable on Bloemhof side uh, dam is at 103% outflow only 54 they're really closing it off no major inflows and looking at the dam itself uh, I don't see the 103% here, so I don't know which one is actually correct. But at this stage, there is no real danger in any of that. So, looking at the Garib side of it, uh, Garib Dam is at 100%. And currently, 3 cubic outflow, which is almost nothing. Uh, so, all of the outflow is used for electricity generation. And at some stage, this this will have to stop to conserve water so it will depend on what the inflow is they can use the current inflow and then at some stage when it's going to dip below 100 percent they will probably reduce electricity generation to conserve water looking that at, at van der kloof van der kloof is still at 104.7 percent our overflow over the wall is still 350 cubic so uh, once that drops closer to 100%, it will also be electricity generation and they will probably also at some stage in the near future start to drop electricity generation in favor of conserving water. Then looking at the river lower down, so we're looking at 750 outflow plus 50 from Bloemhof. That's 800 total flowing towards the lower orange. The current situation in the lower orange is 1,500 at Priska. 1,800 at Uppington, so that's a very rapid drop. Uh, Neersberg is already down to 2,000. Here you see Blopet swinging from a higher, than, higher reading than the other stations to a lower reading than the other stations. There's around, around the 2,500 cubic mark, it, it swaps around to giving a too lower reading. So 800 cubic, uh, about two days from Katlani currently, so the uh, river level dropping fast. There are no major weather events currently predicted, especially with regards to rain. Unfortunately, parts of the Karoo and more the Western Cape got good rains. The rest area got good rains. Meiringsport was closed, but unfortunately, unfortunately it doesn't seem like the catchment area for the Eastern Cape dams uh, are getting any rain. This is uh, the catchment area and I just don't see any major forecast for rain. Uh, as always I want to add some nice footage of things that I found interesting into the video but in this case the footage was of a trip I did this weekend to a very remote area on the river and it's really good footage and it takes a long time to edit which I can't do with an update video because the update is kind of time sensitive. So that's it for this video, but I'm working on a nice video, just some general nice footage on the river in an area that nobody ever sees. I'll see you on that one. Cheers.